Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of Coding with Dom. For this episode, we're not actually going to be coding, but we're just going to be downloading an IDE called Dr. Racket. So we're going to go ahead and type in Dr. Racket on Google and click this first link. The URL for this is racket-lang.org. So go ahead and click this. Now at the top right, we see a download button. We're going to go ahead and click that. You can configure these options for your operating system, but for me, these are correct. I'm using Windows 64-bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and click this download button. And as you can see, it's downloading at the bottom. Now, if this download doesn't work for you, you can always try a mirror, which they offer right here. And just a couple more seconds. So when the download's done, we're just going to open up the executable. Okay, now then the setup appears. So we're going to go ahead and click next on that. Next on that. And install. Now, here's the part where the installation process begins. So the thing about the installation process is you can always click the show details button. And then when you show the details, it kind of tells you exactly what's extracting and which files are actually coming out. Like over here, you can see some of these PNG files are coming. So for me, I chose the default option on my, um, on my Windows Explorer uh, for the installation path. But for you, you can actually pick any installation path you want. It doesn't exactly matter. Um, so this download interface is actually usually a pretty standard interface. Um, a lot of developers use this type of interface whenever they want to package an application and they have an installer. And it's pretty simple to set up yourself. If you ever have an application you just want to install it, there's a lot of ways to do it. You'll see here, yeah, it looks really nice. They have the, the logo in the top right corner, you know, they're showing all the results as they come in. It's also not that bad at all. You have like a nice little message over here, gives you the title installing. And over here is kind of like a sub message. Please wait while Racket version 7.6 and then in parentheses x86 underscore 64 is being installed. You know? I mean, it's kind of nice being able to see each and every file that's coming through. You know? As opposed to kind of just being left in the dark. And don't even make me mention this uh, awesome progress bar. So that way you actually know kind of like a percentile of how far in the installation process you're going. Where you are. You know, how far you've been and how far more left you have. Um, one thing about the, uh, the progress bars, actually when it comes to these types of uh, scenarios, sometimes it is kind of hard or difficult to be able to predict progress. So, some of the previous installation applications, what they used to do is they kind of, they gave you like a, uh, an estimated time left, but it's been shown that estimating the time it takes to, um, to either download something or upload something or install something as we're doing here is actually a pretty difficult issue. Um, it's not something that's necessarily easily determined, it is possible, though. Um, yeah, so, it definitely looks like there are a lot of files out here to extract, but um, in order to show my case a little bit more, you can see how sometimes in the installation pro process, the progress bar appears to be going faster and going slower. So like I said, it is actually kind of a difficult problem to estimate progress when it comes to, for instance, a file download, a file upload, or in this case, installer. However, it does look like the uh, installation process is almost completed. So my battery's running low, gotta get the charger. Well, it's still going to charge it up. And it looks like Racket has been installed. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and hit the finish button. So now we have Dr. Racket open. So just a quick intro. Over here, this is the definitions window. And over here, this is the interactions window. We'll explain the difference between these later, but for this point, we're going to use the interactions window. Thank you, and I'll see you next session.